sparks from me. Your handy chains. Dragging behind your truck that accidentally started a wildfire. Sparks from dragging chains can start a wildfire. Spark a change, not a wildfire. Visit SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Only you can prevent wildfires. In the next 30 seconds, you're about to become armed and dangerous. What will be your weapon of choice? Questions that expose and scare off predatory mortgage lenders. Questions like, Are these all the costs? Am I eligible for a lower interest rate? If you're about to refinance or are a first-time home buyer, shop for your mortgage with confidence. Get more questions that protect at 866-222-FAIR. That's 866-222-3247 or go to questionsprotect.org. Question everything. Protect your home. Brought to you by the National Fair Housing Alliance and the Ad Council. 2096. KPRT Kansas City and K291CN Kansas City. Gospel 1590. Here's Gospel 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock AM. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word to God pierce your soul. 1590 AM on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory radio broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. It is great to be in the house again. This is Independence Day, and we are excited because uh, you are, because you have Jesus, uh, you are free. <laughs> I just believe right now in the supernatural breakthrough of the Holy Ghost is operating in you, on you, and for you. Uh, of course, you're listening to the Morning Glory Radio Broadcast, which is the radio ministry of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Who this, who I am the senior pastor, Pastor Adam Blackstock, and my lovely wife, who is my neighbor at the radio program every Tuesday, is here. Her name is Prophetess Adrian Blackstock. Go, go, ahead, go ahead and verbally wave to the people. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we are located at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri. Of course, you can always worship with us in person on Wednesdays at 7 p.m., which is our interactive Bible study. And then on Sunday, we have our worship services starting at 1030. But before that, we have 21 weeks to your debt freedom. That goes, that starts at 930. And then we have our fellowship breakfast at nine o'clock. So if you get there at nine o'clock, you get word, word, you get food, spiritual food for your, uh, for your body. You get some uh, actual food. Then at 930, you get some spiritual food for your, so to your diet, your financial freedom. And then you get the word of God, which will get your mind and your spirit man set free like never before prophetess uh i know you have uh the seven seven uh prayer meetings going on I, and we're going to talk about that but I, I i definitely want to tell you that this is your freedom moment Amen. uh independence day is just a symbol of God using uh, the the in the natural, just a symbolic a point of your being free. Tell us about this uh, your your prayer on seven seven. Amen. Well, one of the things on seven seven, we're going to look at Proverbs six thirty one um, as we go through this because we're in a year of five seven seven seven, and so sometimes we have to when God is speaking, revealing revelation of what He's doing in the spirit realm. You know, He utilized the gifts of the prophets and those of us that had an escort northern about. Uh, the appointed times, what we call more dims outside of the Feast of Tabernacle. And so we're going to be praying. Uh, have sup we have three prayer hubs that are open throughout um, the greater Kansas City, throughout Can the greater Kansas City area. On, we're going to pray from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And those prayer hubs, and I'm going to see if I can maybe get the, um, the shepherds over those um, prayer hubs that probably can be able to call in. But the first one, one is an, an hour which is Pastor Joanna. She's in Crescent Hour, and they're going to have their church open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and individuals within the community can be able to come in and pray before the Lord. You know, mm. Pastor, it seems like you would think we would, we would do more of this as a community because, first of all, I look at it, I know at GBF, I see that church house belongs to God. So if he's telling me he wants it open for prayer um, at a certain time, I'm going to make it happen. Amen. Amen. I would love to see the day where we're all throughout that we can be have this universal 
prayer hub where every church is just open where individuals can be able to come in there and pray. Yeah, matter of fact, Prophet, it's so important that you said that because uh, in the in the Bible, all the way up until really our Independence Day, the the you know, uh, the uh, USA, right? The church paid a played a relevant part. Mm. To the people's breakthrough, Amen. the church in the Bible, of course, was the it was the the doctor's office, it was their lawyer's office, it was the judge, it was the community school, it was everything. As a matter of fact, that stayed hold all the way through till uh, uh, seventeen seven, actually eighteen hundreds, when uh, most of the signers of the Declaration of Independence were. Uh, either pastors or rev, uh, reverence because most of the schools were biblically based schools that they had went to. So uh, we, 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 we miss out on knowing uh, that the, this uh, United States was founded on the word and we need to keep that foundation because people need to be set free. Amen. Uh, I'm I'm excited what God's going to do. I, I just know what God's going to do on seven seven. Uh, this is such a, an appointed and prophetic time. Uh, don't forget that this you want to get that seventy seven uh, dollar offering I, in. I was thinking about that last uh, night. Uh, people started. Night. People like Gloria Brown <laughs> Fellowship had, had caught it. They they've been sewing into it because they want their breakthrough. This is uh, seven seven seven. This is the this is such a powerful time because. Uh, this won't happen again for another thousand years. Okay, and Pastor, let me give you the other dates. Um, the other two, um, of course, we have Glory by Fellowship International Church, that's, which is located in Lee Summit. And then we have Bishop Travis and Lisa uh, and Pastor Lisa Shockley, which is Greater Works. They're located at 5902, right off of Bannister Road, around right the corner of, um, what is that, Hill, Hickman? Hickman Mills Hickman Drive. Hickman Mill and 95th. What an intricate location that is there. You know, as I was looking at that area, that's where Cerner is at. You know, the saturation of prayer to be able to, to take place. And then we have a central location, which is Pastor Michael Brooks, which is at Zion Grove. Amen. And so these are the three locations within the greater Kansas City area. I really was trying to find a church for Kansas. I haven't found that yet, so I'm still believing God that if you are listening and you are a, a pastor, it's not very hard. I mean, if you have deacons or if you have leaders, it don't mean that you, the pastor, have to be there. Now, because I'm an intercessor, I'm going to be there. And because Pastor Adam... Um, you know, he's just he's just a man of prayer, but he even if he's traveling, he has to travel. We're just going to open up the doors and for 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., individual beta come in and pray however you want to pray. Now, we're going to have different ways and maybe one of these times I teach about the different levels of prayer. I mean, we're going to read scripture. We're going to, you know worship before him but you can play a role in seeing a transformation in your city this is a clarion call by god and as a prophet god i am decreeing that every house is going to receive a deposit from god that is participating and every individual that is participating god is going to meet you personally individually why because thou shall decree a thing and so shall it be god says my house shall be called a house of prayer if we want to see transformation in our cities we are going to have to come together and pray there's nothing more powerful than the prayers of the saints and we see god moving and doing it amen we have a caller that is there uh, this is Bishop Shockley. Hey, Bishop. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How you all doing? All right. All right. Absolutely excited about this coming Friday. Absolute uh, day of prayer. Nothing more powerful than prayer. Amen. So just invite everybody out. We are participating in this great monumental move uh, from 7 to 7. Uh, 5902 East Bannister Road, Greater Works Family Worship Center. We are excited to be hosting this day alone with you all. And so we're just excited about what God's getting ready to do. Hey, man, we you definitely, we, we want everybody in that community, if you're right there in the South Kansas City area, that would be a great place for you to go and, and get your uh, 
get your prayer on, where the church is going to be open. We're not saying you need to be there all 12 hours. We're saying that they, they've, they've decided to l let the doors open so that you can uh, receive uh, your breakthrough, receive a place where you can be praying for your family, where you can be praying for your city, where you can be praying for your community, where prayer is going to be going forth you're going to be hearing uh, uh the word of prayer coming forth this 777 seven, seven is a time and a season where prayer is uh, uh opening doors to your breakthrough don't you know that uh back in uh, biblical times it was about prayer amen and and, and also here here's the here's a great model our church is in Lee Summit, Missouri. Bishop Shockley Church is, my daughter probably lives a couple of blocks from him. She doesn't have to drive all the way to, in order to participate in the prayer hub to Lee Summit when she's right down the street. Right. Amen. Absolutely. She can go in there for 30, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That is the, that's, you, you would, we, we, you would think this is like a no brainer. Nobody has to be envious or jealous of anyone. It is prayer. Amen. Absolutely. You should be able to go to any one of these. If you live in Lee Summit and you your church is in, on the other side of Kansas, just pick a hub. Come in and be a part of what God is doing. And we will see the transformation for we're setting a model. I truly believe that the fire in the heartland revival is already taking place. It has already started in the hearts and minds of men and women. So I am excited what the Father is doing, and it's going to continue to build. It's going to continue to grow. Amen. We have another caller, Bishop Shockley. We thank you. Thank we thank you. you. We thank you. Go on out to 5902 Bannister Road. July the 7th, between Greater 7 a.m. Family Worship Center. 7 p.m. God bless you. Carla. Good morning, men and women of God. Good, Good morning. For today, and we're grateful for the prayer hub that will be taking place on July 7th. Uh, we're grateful for the vision. We're grateful for the spirit of prayer that will be going forth. And I just want to also include in that that we have carved out a space of time at 12 noon. That's right. Yes, I asking. forgot. Him. Thank you. I knew it was the reason the Lord told me to tell you call in. <laughs> <laughs> at 12 noon that clergy have been asked to go on their Facebook Live or to do a video chat on something on social media live that will be a clarion call for prayer against violence yes. in yes. the city. And so we're grateful for that. We just want to penetrate our city on both Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri in the spirit of prayer the entire day long mm. amen come on kansas pastors we need a prayer hub we need someone to open up their doors on the kansas side yeah. it's, it's it's strategic people understand it's strategic about prayer amen and since we have these both cities that are sitting side by side it will just be awesome to be able to have a hub that's open so the individuals that on the kansas side will be able to be praying the same time that we are praying amen, amen. so I'm, I'm believing god um you can call you can contact me or you can contact pastor cassandra and just say listen my church on the kansas city kansas side will be participating and if you maybe you can't if you can't do it the holes from 7 a.m to 7 p.m just let me just let us know amen yeah. and we, yeah. we we'll still get you on there so people can know that you're still participating but no matter what preachers get out at 12 p.m yes and do facebook live do periscope do all the yeah. uh, the local video uh, uh social media opportunities you you want to be on line Together, we're going to do this at uh, 12 o'clock Central Time. I don't care where you're at. You can be in uh, Miami. You could be in Florida. If uh, if you are a Kansas City pastor, preacher, minister, person, anybody uh, that has Kansas City on their heart, pray at 12 Central Time. We're just going to blow up Facebook Live, blow up Periscope, blow up any social media app that we can so that we can tell the world that we want to stop the violence in, our in city, Kansas in city. Our city. Amen. Praise God. God bless you all. Happy birthday, Pastor Adam. Oh, thank you. I receive it. <laughs> you don't Love get to you celebrate both. the entire month. Only I do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you. All. God bless you, Pastor Cassandra. Amen. Glory.
Hallelujah. All right. So uh, we just we believe in God. This is powerful that we already had uh, Bishop Shockley and Pastor Cassandra call in. We know how God is moving in this area of prayer. Prophetess, uh, while we have a moment, I'd like to talk to you about the this Independence Weekend, how God did such a powerful uh, thing uh, in our lives and in the people of God's lives. Uh, you, your deliverance meeting on Friday night was powerful, and uh, people truly got uh, restored and delivered. Uh, and then uh, on Sunday, you know, uh, the message dealing with the renewing of the mind. Uh, Jesus is on my mind, uh, part two. Uh, and I, I just remember the the old sing a song that we used to sing in church. It was, uh, I, I'm walking and talking with my mind, my mind stayed on Jesus. We 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 have to get back to that. And Friday, you help the people to get back in line with God, uh, getting delivered, getting set free. And uh, then on Sunday, we we kept it going. This is what the the word of the Lord said: Who the Son sets free, Amen is free indeed. I believe in this season, this independence time, this time where God's freedom Glory. is on God's people. I'm prophesying to my radio family right now. Step into your freedom. If you are at that deliverance meeting and you know that you got set free, just receive the breakthrough like never before. Walk it out. Amen. I've seen people, uh, those screams, those yells, those shouts, those tears. Those were all tears, shouts, yells of your freedom. Amen. It, it felt like a trumpet sound. It, it felt like somebody understood that God wanted them free and they got it amen and, and, you know it's called a victory deliverance campaign that's what the lord called it and so the next one is going to be july the 21st once again at glory about fellowship international church and then we move it and pastor adam myself and pastor stephanie moody will be going to um I was east st louis east st louis illinois with, illinois which is with reverend uh trace just a woman of god that has a heart to see not just and see this is what god is moving on the hearts of people we're not just want to see just our household set free and just our church set free we want to see in the land it's not a coincidence that it's still within the missouri line so we'll be there in august august the 10th 11th and 12th so if you have family members that live in that st louis area and they're needing a breakthrough meet us there amen god is really doing something and moving in this area of missouri of the heartland the fire of god is in the heartland amen Amen. And so uh, we know you got to go across the state line. You, if you're in St. You got family members in St. Louis, you just got to go across the state line into Illinois and be able to receive your breakthrough. We'll be there August the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Uh, but let, let's come back. Uh, you could come on over to this side July 21st mm -hmm. and, and get you, your deliverance. Um, Prophetess, uh, I'm so excited what God had did and how God had delivered um his people on uh friday and sunday there uh, and we gotta we gotta keep it going that's why you we're doing them 21 days and apart uh this is powerful because i didn't it, and i did not orchestrate that mm -hmm. and here's what when god spoke to me in the month of may he says get my people delivered he says start in the sixth month on the for the next six months and it just when i 6 30 and i did i realized that okay it's 21 days from july the 21st and then you was the one that brought further revelation that with us being over in east st louis illinois um that it was another 21 days hmm. which and some of you probably say, okay what's the significance of that seven plus seven plus seven equal 21 we are in the year of five seven 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 that is a triple uh, trifecta. We got to understand God uses everything. He speaks to us through numbers. Amen. He speaks to us through colors. We got to understand how God uses symbols and, and signs and wonders. Yeah. You know, he's, he's always, you know, speaking to his people. We just have to recognize him when he's speaking. I'm going to speak this into existence, people, on July 11th or, or 18th. 
Prophetess is going to come on this radio broadcast and she's going to deal with uh, the the numbers and do numerology. Why are you even putting me to work? Because, <laughs> I'm going to be out of town. so it, <laughs> See, that's not, that's not fair. Amen. I'm but the, there is such a powerful time in numerology. God deals in numbers, right? He deals in number seven. He deals in number 10. He deals with number four. I'm not going to give them all to you, uh, but they, these are special anointed periods that deals with the numerology of God. So uh, you're just going to have to uh, pull on uh, uh, on the spirit and tell prophetess to tell the spirit when prophetess needs to teach this, whether it's the 11th, whether it's the 18th, maybe even the 25th. But uh, God, God, you're gonna have to do it, Amen. I just amen. believe that 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 teaching needs to happen. Well, I, I know it needs to happen because even this morning, the Lord was really also speaking to me. He wanted to deal with in the area of how the enemy, you know, moves in our dreams and how to help people understand. Even when He's speaking through us, when He in dreams and vision, where it's Him speaking, or even to show you when the enemy is trying to come in. So, um, He's at, it's all this is in that time and of God speaking prophetically to His people. Jesus in His day spoke with parables. Now the whole Holy Spirit is speaking through the prophetic. Amen. So you must get an understanding to to hear when the prophetic voice of God is speaking through a man or a woman. You cannot mm. haphazardly sit there. You have to be able to recognize the shifting when that take place. It's totally different when you just have your pastors mm. just being pastor. Amen. But you can shift because there are some pastors that have a prophetic gift. Amen. And you can understand, okay, God is speaking at this time. So those that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the church. Amen. And so, Pastor, I want us to just, 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 just dig in here do like a mini Bible study with this um, Proverbs 631 because in the next three days, amen, this is what God is saying. The father said to me, tell my people to put a demand on the anointing that to have the enemy to give back and take back everything that the enemy has stolen from you. And so when you recognize that, amen, it is your responsibility that God wants to partner with you to back you up. So in Proverbs chapter 6 and 31 and pastor, um, I, I believe this is the NLT um, version. You can correct me me on that we can look at some other versions um here it says but if he is caught he must pay back seven times what he stole even if even if he has to sell everything in his house amen so perfectly when you catch the enemy stealing and taking your stuff Robbing you of your time, robbing you of your life, robbing you of your health, robbing you of your finances. God is saying, listen, this word has always been here, Pastor Adam, but I am saying that I am going to do this on 7-7 in the year of 2017. Mm. Amen. Yeah. And so we want to lay hold of this. Hallelujah. And even um, as I was right before I got ready to, to come to the right here, the also came in my spirit was Deuteronomy um, chapter, you know, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Amen. Where God speaks those blessings over us and what he's uh, wanting to do. So pastor, you want to read, is there another translation yeah, yeah, there? I, I, I have the uh, complete Jewish Bible, which um, you okay. know, I rarely read from it uh, on the radio, but this, it really caught me said, uh, uh, but even he, if caught, must pay back sevenfold. He may have to give up all his wealth that he owns. Mm -hmm. That is a supernatural wealth transference happening oh, on no. seven seven for those uh, that are what they call the just. I believe God is getting ready to. Are you the just? I'm prophetically talking to my radio family right now. If you're the just, you just need to lay hold uh, that the, what the enemy done stole from you, he's going to pay it back sevenfold. Uh, there's a restoration happening to you that uh, that transfer of wealth. Is, uh, the Bible tells you that eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard what God has stored up for those uh, that believe in him. Uh, if you are a believer, God is going to he's going to restore the storage that he has for you and bring it down here to the earth. I believe what it says uh, uh, in the book of Matthew, it says, uh, let you what's happening in heaven. Amen. Come down here on earth. I believe that storage is being released uh, to the people of God. Mm. On seven seven, can I can uh, prophetess? Can I talk to you even about Matthew seven seven? 
Get, let's oh go. Matthew gosh. 7, 7. Let's go there. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, 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 I know Glory. a thing or two, so let me just go and give it to you. Amen. Amen. The spirit of what is happening over here is the spirit of revelation is, is being poured out. Amen. We're just attentively just to, t- to tap in and just and, and just hear what God is saying right now. Amen. In this yeah. moment. Matthew 7, 7 says, ask hmm. and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. This is your season on a July 7, 2017. Mm, God is God. saying you can ask, you can seek, and you can knock. And God will respond supernaturally to you right now in this season. This Matthew 7, 7 is written in red in my Bible. Yes, I got in red. That comes from the Lord's mouth directly to you. I'm speaking prophetically. That don't come from Pastor Adam. That don't come from Amen. prophetess. That's coming direct from the throne room. Hallelujah. To our radio family. Go ahead. Pastor, I want to read from the NLT. It said, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep mm. on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who acts receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. I'm thinking about my little grandbaby. She says, open door. And she puts so much emphasis on it when she wants to come in the door. She knocks. She say, open door. And so God is really has an open door for us. My Amen. God. For those of you, you know, if you knock on the door. Hallelujah. It's going to be open for you. That's what mm. God. But see, but if you, if you don't knock on it, the door of prosperity is right there, but you didn't knock on it. Yeah. The door of healing is right there, but you didn't knock on it. Mm. The door of marriage restoration, you didn't knock on it. Amen. So that's what the Father is saying. So I'm excited about what God is doing and getting ready to do on 7-7. Put a demand on the anointing, amen, that you're going to step into that open door on 7-7. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because I know y'all word people, so we wanted to give you the word. But <laughs> let me help you today that... Y- I, I, if you can't be in the house on 7-7, seven, seven, this is the time for you to sow that seed. Go online. Uh, uh, or take it to your church. Uh, if you're one of those prayer hubs, yes. take it to the church. to Receive uh, that 7-7 seven, seven anointing. Hubs, release, the, uh, it the, release it there. Or just go online at, at uh, glorybiblefellows at gbfic.org. Org, and, and you can do it there, or if you have the GBFIC app and you're listening to the radio broadcast now, there you can release it. There is an anointing for you to ask, Amen. seek, knock, and receive what has for you. Listen. We got what about Woo. a minute left. God is doing something supernatural right now in this radio studio. God is, uh, you're, I know you're feeling it already, radio family. I know you're, you're touching it right now. If that has hit your spirit, just know the 777 anointing is right now hitting you like never before. So we, we, as we close every broadcast and we let you know in advance, we got about 30 seconds to wrap up. God is doing things uh, in the natural uh, that he's been telling you in the spirit he's going to do. Mm. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Somebody just heard that. I didn't say it the opposite. He's doing it in the spiritual and it's going to come down to the natural. No, he's doing it in the natural for what he's doing in the spirit. Amen. So right now we want you to know that, uh, of course, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at GBFIC.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delp School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900. Well, Jason, I've got to tell you, you're pretty much everything this company is looking for in an entry-level candidate. Great. Your resume isn't quite what we're used to, but you've got a fantastic work ethic. Thank you. And I'm impressed by how you carry yourself. So, should we talk about the job? Uh, What? The job? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I have no way of recruiting or even meeting you. This interview didn't happen. It may sound ridiculous, and that's because it kind of is. There's a huge pool of talent your company is missing out on. Meet the grads of life. Who are they? Talent worth knowing about. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or even mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Man, we really could have used him. Don't miss out on a resource many innovative companies have already discovered. 
Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. If you've been hurt or in an accident and you need some help but don't know where to get it, call Marvin's Midtown Chiropractic. After the accident, where it is. Marvin's Midtown Chiropractic Clinic, specializing in auto accident injury. Conveniently located in Midtown, Kansas City at 811 East Linwood Boulevard, Kansas City, Missouri, 64109. Give us a call, 816-756-2500. Hi, I'm Layla Ali. 